Welcome back to Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists. This week, perhaps you've heard the classic Hollywood phrase, don't drink and drive. Well, we talk to school assembly performers who tell that lesson to young kids and the art of doing so. These school assembly uh, characters, actors, and performers and directors travel around the entire United States educating the youth. Probably one of the best choices in life. Now pull up, get going. Class is not going because it's an assembly. Please welcome the cast of the school assemblies Don't Drink and Drive. Fancy. Wow, this is amazing to be here. I love being here. I think it's stellar that we're all here. <laughs> and more than stellar, I would say it's important. Mm. I think it's mm. important and um, honestly challenging to hearts and minds. It's challenging my heart. It's challenging my mind um, to share the space with you all and to really tell Hollywood what we do. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, big shout out to AOA, 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 AOA for, to, for bringing us in. You know, it's kind of important. It's kind word of up. Word up to them, you know? Yeah, like, word like, up. Like bringing us in, sometimes having these difficult conversations, it's a little mm -hmm. awkward turtle. It's a little awkward turtle, mm -hmm. but we're totally like, I'm sorry for cheesing, but I'm so happy that we get this larger platform to talk about what we do. Like, it's awesome. Yeah. I'm really like. Absolutely. Because really, really we're sick. actors too. Like, yeah. those are lines we memorize, those blocking we work on. It's, there's, it's no different than um, a movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what we do is just like a movie. So um, for the listener, maybe we can give a little background about what we do before we introduce ourselves. So we are a part of Dare Ya Too, and that is a anti-drunk driving educational seminar. We are a group that goes from school to school, educating kids through the art of theater, motivational speaking, um, sometimes dance, sometimes puppetry, on how to make smart choices. You know, mm -hmm. in immersion, we use immersion pretty heavily as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're really trying to dare you to not drink. Exactly, dare you to not, not drink, get, not drink. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you were moving on to the second part? No, yeah, no, dare you to not drink. That's yeah. Yeah. that's mm -hmm. big, kind of the big one, and that is the second part. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> but legally, our LLC is dare you to. Yes. We couldn't fit not drink. Yeah. No, and it's yeah. the number two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're not a nonprofit, by the way. Yeah, and it's also a little confusing because there's no space between Y A and Dare. So sometimes people think it's Daria, Daria too, which is a little confusing. And we've heard that we've heard that chanted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's we a fake the joke. Diarrhea yeah. too. Yeah. Diarrhea, Diarrhea too. Oh, who's calling my name? <laughs> Kids are brutal. Kids are brutal. They're hard. They're, <laughs> They're hard. hard. They're, They're hard. I re I really struggle. Oh sometimes. yeah. Because we are and we are working with specifically ninth graders mm -hmm. and. Fine. You know, their armpit hair just come in. Mm -hmm. They're ready to drink. They're ready to drive. And they are, it's so hard to wrangle them. And they're not allowed to do either. You know, that's right. the craziest that's thing so about hard. ninth grade is they can't drink and they can't drive yet. Right? So yeah. we're so, really talking about two things that they're not doing. Right. And it's just, it's so unfair because their armpit hair just came in. <laughs> it's... We, we, they have, we remind each other of that every day. They've had no time to adjust hair protruding from one of the ickiest crevasses of their body. They had no time to adjust, and all of a sudden, we have to hit them with some really hard truths. I remember when, when my armpit hair came in, I got right behind the wheel of a car. Yeah. And, um, with a yeah. license or no? With no driver's license. That's that ninth grader That's thing. That's that ninth grader mentality. Yeah. I, went, yeah. I, went, I, I remember I looked at my mom and went, fuck this. <laughs> That's what I yeah. said. She said, what are you talking about? And I was in the car. I was gone. Yeah. Damn, did you have a Miller Lite in there? I had I had a Miller Lite in each hand, ready to go. And listen, that, I mean, listen, I know that that's, that's my story. I know you've heard it. I know I've told it on stage. That's kind of, you know, mm -hmm. the cautionary tale. And I'm happy that you you all give me the platform to, to speak about my Well, mistakes. this is a great transition. Why don't we introduce ourselves? You, you go ahead. You know, you know take, take the mic, if you will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm Peter Hurlowitz. And um, I am sort of, I mean, I, I am honored that I was even brought here to, you know, an artist, an artist's platform when I yeah. know I'm just, you know, I'm just the guy. I just come on, I give the true life stories, you know, I, I come on and you, 
you kind of mm. just point to me of the of the do not do. Yes. Yeah. Peter starts to show off with the prologue, yeah. mm -hmm. which is always so powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, single spotlight on stage, dark, and he comes on. And Peter's so brave because, mm -hmm. like he was saying, he kind of is our example of what not to do in life. You know. Yeah. I mean, just imagine our show starts with spotlight. Peter doing an exact impression of the sound of the car accident he was in. He's a mouth. gifted beatboxer and Foley artist, and he's really good at replicating the sound with such painful accuracy. It still brings tears to my eyes every time you do it. Peter, I don't want to put you on the spot. I really don't want to put you on the spot. I really don't want to put you on the spot. I really don't want to put you on the spot. It would just be epic sauce if he did it for us. I, I, it's, it's, I appreciate it. I just don't think anybody wants to hear that. Oh, oh they on. want to hear for that. For the listeners out there, when this guy comes out and they think, oh no, Another assembly to teach me about laws or something. And he starts beatboxing. <laughs> he starts beatboxing. I hate those law assemblies. I yeah, hate those. Anyway. Our that's our biggest competition. And we've, all had the guy, we've all had the guys come out with the big yo-yos and they read the whole U.S. penal code front okay. to back. And it's miserable. It's but miserable. He starts beatboxing and we have these kids by their necks. By and their... they go, these guys are relatable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Peter, please bless Peter, us. Peter, we really don't want to put you on the spot. No, it's it's fine. I mean, listen, I do it. I do it probably every other day. And uh, if so, we're lucky, if we book it. <laughs> if we book it, we it's book been it. slower lately, but uh, yeah. it's it'll be. We've good been pinned for a couple schools. We've been pinned. We've been pinned. It's absolutely October great. October is hard. There's not a lot of drinking. October is hard. <laughs> yeah. It's a walking holiday. More of you a walking trick holiday. Trick. People are in their houses. <laughs> June. That's the month for de yeah, drinking and driving. Which is tough because that's summer months. That's right. July. So not yeah. Even yeah. We gotta load up in May. Prom. Mom is basically our Super Bowl. Oh, it's, <laughs> it sweeps, baby. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We're getting ahead of ourselves. I am ready. I am ready for the impression. It's all. It's all good. Um, all right. Um, so imagine, you know, you're you're in your you're in your gymnasium. You're in your your lunch mm -hmm. hall, and the spotlight comes on me. See you later, Mom. I got I got hair growing out of my arms. <laughs> Hey, I'm walking here. What? <laughs> Through the window, window. <laughs> out the door, out the door. Glug, <laughs> glug, uh, what? <laughs> My boy! And so that's sort of the prologue God, of the whole thing. God, it's incredible. Wow. Give it out to you. to the I'm that master. Worthy. I'm that worthy. That Thank was you. absolutely it's, amazing. I, I will say, Peter is the one that is kind of the heartthrob of the team. We have, <laughs> yeah. the nine-year-olds do uh, tend to crush them. I Peter. get a lot of DMs, it's very true. Yeah. yeah. Which you legally can't answer. It's a, it's and a hard don't. walk And you better not. And I don't, I haven't. It's and you not better an not. It's so crazy, we do not put our last names on anything and they always find us, all they of really us. They really do. We get mm -hmm. 500 friend requests on our locked Instagrams after every show. Kids are brutal. They're brutal. <laughs> We're getting ahead of ourselves. Why don't we go around and finish introducing Please. ourselves? Uh, maybe we introduce ourselves in order of the show. Because oh, Peter comes out for well, the sure. prologue. Well, and then I come out. Not counting the sound effects that you guys did. Sure, but we're off stage. Yeah, soundscape, we're off soundscape. Stage. Yeah. Soundscape, wow. soundscape. I come out, uh, and well, my name is uh, Denny Wozniak. And I come out, and I look at everyone, and I go, that actually happened, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot to say, my name is Denny, but you guys all call me Broccoli Head. Broccoli Head. <laughs> yeah, it's so like kind of a goofball. Like I, I before doing this, I mean, we all met in college. We met at Northwestern, and we mm -hmm. started this in Northwestern, and then mm -hmm. we realized this could be a viable, you know, first of all, a side gig that we could all go do together. Yeah, mm -hmm. like something right. that would be fun mm -hmm. while our our other careers we were working really hard mm -hmm. on. Yeah, we I all mean, met at Northwestern. It was actually very helpful because Peter was actually in a rehab program at the time. Yeah. next yeah. door. Yeah, mm -hmm. next door. And so we kind of right. just walked in and said, "Hey, we're looking for one." And yeah, yeah. And med school was so hard. Yeah, that we needed something on the side. You know what I mean? Yeah, we were all med school students. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we were like, you know, we're gonna work hard at med school, but you know. Being accepted as a nurse is really difficult. It's very exclusive. So, and more than that, I don't want to do it. And <laughs> <laughs> right, right. 
that's like a big problem. That's a big part of it. It's like a, it's like a, an absolutely hamburger sized problem. So <laughs> I totally, I totally agree with you. So we just started doing this yeah. and, and it really kicked off, but I come out on stage, broccoli head enters and I, I grew up in youth groups. So this is a big moment for me to go. That was really scary. Wasn't it guys? Let's talk about that. What did that make you guys feel like? And they think that we've stopped the show to listen to them, but it's actually part of the show. And um, as I'm talking to them, I'm slowly kind of different parts of my body are going numb. And I'm kind of, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And then, and then eventually I fall to the ground and I say, I'm dead. It's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> and I say, I'm dead. You've been talking to a dead person this whole time. I'm dead because of drinking and driving. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's the first time we say drinking and driving. Mm -hmm. Right, the first time. Yeah. yeah, and if you'll notice, the role of Peter has been double cast because you know after after that you sort of assume his position. Right, as because Peter being gets dead. so wiped out. He gets so tired. <laughs> it's a big performance. I the, and, <laughs> and that's why we have a chair set up for him so that right. he can sit for the next ten minutes of the show and if recover you closely. You hear. <gasps> yeah. <sighs> But they forget to turn my mic off a, a lot of the time, which causes a lot of issues. Oh my gosh! And these school auditorium microphones—they are hot. They're, They're hot. hot. <laughs> They're hot. They're hot. Always mics. hot. Always hot, hot mics. Without a doubt, hot. Without yeah. a doubt, oh. hot or off is what we like to call it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hot so, or off. And yeah, he's sitting there, mind you, in a car seat. We have we we built a big car seat for him to sit in there for the imagery, and and I think it's actually. Flipping awesome that he does it. I I I'm gonna. I don't understand the car seat. Um, <laughs> okay. Because I. What what don't you understand? Because I am a drunk driver, and I right. crash, and and then I'm a baby. <laughs> Well, your soul is very young because you killed your inner child by drunk driving. I mean, that's what that's what we I, and and that could be great if we said that, but we don't yeah. say anything. I don't. I think it's well, pretty clear. I mean, at the salon, we all held together where we yeah. discussed these ideas and how they made us feel. I thought it was pretty clear to us after right. we had been talking for six and hours. I'm sorry, I missed the salon. No, that's okay, my. It's no, it's okay. okay. I'll just okay. say this: devised theater has a mind of its own. Right. Sometimes yes. we can't walk back and figure out what was meant to be, right? And it just happens. To be clear, Peter, we are, we are, I don't know if you get tension that we are upset you missed the salon. <laughs> if I had 311 tickets, I wouldn't have come either. So good for you. And I and I went I, to that great concert. You said it was really good. And it was really good. Yeah, yeah and we're Ember, and we're happy for you. It was so fun. Ember was your favorite song, and you know that's great for you. Well, it's ev it's everyone's favorite song. Oh, no, for sure. There's a lot of good. There's a lot of good 311 songs. Of course, there's, uh, that's why I went to the fucking concert. Okay, guys, let's be easy okay. now, Peter. Come on. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I don't want to. We're getting ahead of ourselves. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Let me say this. Let me say this. It's a very comfy chair, and I appreciate it. Yeah. You guys, we're, pull, <laughs> we're pulling the drink before the drive here. We should uh, We should get oh, back to the well, We always say, yeah, but let's continue Shot introducing talk. ourselves. Listen, I'll, All right. I'll, oh, sorry. I'll go ahead. No, no, no. No, go ahead. No, please. Okay. Well, um, I will pick up with uh, my section of the show where I come in and introduce, um, you know, the concept of alcohol. Uh, my name is Jessica Budweiser, and I um, have spent years trying to undo the harm and the pain that my family has caused. Mm. Budweiser is a is a wretched, thank you, wretched plague upon the world. And we've done so much evil and we've done so much harm. And so I come on stage and I hold up a single can of Budweiser. And I said, kids, what the fuck do you think this is? Yeah, she says the F word and it gets the ninth graders riled. It, we exactly. grab them by the neck with that. And that's why I use it because it makes them go, sometimes it makes them giggle, sometimes mm -hmm. it makes them gasp, sometimes it makes them scream, sometimes it makes them cry. But no matter what, the F bomb is such a powerful tool in a school educator's pocket. Um, and so I basically just go through the different types of beer. I ask them if they know what it is, and then I put it down. I ask them if they know what it is, and then I put it down until there is a line of beer lining the stage. And then I kick over every can one by one, and I say, this is all a life that's ended. And this is the longest part of the show. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is, this is the, the meat of the assembly. And I'll also say that Jessica, if you don't mind, is, though this is a devised 
theater piece and yeah. we all come together, we are all equals. Jessica does play the role of like the leadership because we were all in med school mm -hmm. and you were like, I do want to change lives because I hate my family. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then you were like, I, you know what, being a doctor is too much work. I don't want to save those lives, right? Right. right? And then you were like, I know a way. And then you picked us up with your beautiful ambition mm. and mm -hmm. held us in the palm of your hand. And I just thank you every day for it. Well, and you're thank not you. mentioning the big part of the one-two punch of what you're doing is every person, when you say, who's heard of this beer? Everyone who raised their hands, we get their names and we call their parents during the assembly. <laughs> and we tell them, your parent, your child knows your child knows what this beer is. And we don't. We and don't, we put the conversations on speakerphone into the mic. <laughs> we have hundreds of phones, cell phones. This um, assembly my daddy, is long. My daddy, Steve Wozniak, he gave us some access to a couple phones. And so it's been really <laughs> awesome. I always forget your dad, Steve Wozniak. I do too. He's so silly. It's just, it's such an, like, I feel like the Budweiser name is such overshadowing the Wozniak name. Right. You know? Right, totally. It's tough. I mean, mine is flashy, but like in reality, the Budweisers are boring. Like, we're we're a boring family. They're just rich. They save their money. They don't know how to spend it. Yeah. Honestly, the Wozniaks are flipping awesome, and I wish you guys would come to our freaking uh, Columbus Day parties. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you guys throw the well, best <laughs> Columbus Day parties. It's so fun. I don't know why people don't like them. Uh, my name is <laughs> My name is Sissy, and um, what you said just now, Jessica, um, or I think it was you, uh, uh, Danny. 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 Broccoli head. Broccoli um, head. Broccoli yeah. head. Um, I think you said at Broccoli Head that we get those phone numbers and we make those calls. So I'm the girl in the back um, dialing all these phone numbers up. And once we get a parent on the line, I will wave my hand in the back and they'll see it and we'll bring it out. I also drive the paper ambulance at the end of the show. Uh. Um, I drive it, which is my favorite part of the show. Not to say my part is my favorite part, but I love that we come from the audience. We scare the shit out of these kids mm. with a paper ambulance. And it's so, so, so loud. And we come in and I drive so fast to go pick mm -hmm. up because what? the paper ambulance, the driver is drunk. That's that's another metaphor. And the terrifying use. thing about the paper ambulance is watching the paper just crumble at the end. It's because terrifying. you're going so fast and you see how car can fall apart just like paper if the driver is and drunk. And that was Great. such a good idea on the group's behalf. I don't remember who said, let's make the paper so sharp that it'll hurt someone. Mm. And when you get thousands of real paper cuts at the end of the show and you present them to the crowd, it's honestly inspiring, and well, I can't believe you do that to your body yeah. every single day. And that, it's that so was a choice brave. that you made at the salon. That was so brave. It was such a good choice at the salon. I you wish know? you were yeah. there, Peter. I really wish. I you really wish it. you yeah. saw me make the choice. I kind of wish I did too. Yeah, because I because it does. I don't need it. it confuses me as well. It's um... <laughs> the paper. The um the uh. What's confusing? About well, I'm her? sorry. The what's paper confusing? Ambulance? Her getting her her giving herself a bunch of paper cuts. The That's... paper mache <laughs> ambulance. Because okay, fine. Because you're an ambulance. Why are you crashing? The ambulance function in the story should be to help the drunk drivers that are already there. Well, we decided in the salon that the ambulance is the enemy because the ambulance is part of the problem. Because if we. Is... No, go on. I wasn't there. Well, We're... Peter, let me just explain to you. The ambulance is part of the problem because if a drunk driver knows that there are ambulances roaming around, <laughs> they might think it's okay to crash the car. Right. So that's what we decided at the salon. I'm so sorry if it doesn't make sense. I mean, maybe this is good feedback. We can yeah, this is good. We this can is, talk. It's about all right. It. I just wish you brought it up at the salon. I wasn't couldn't. at the salon, and right. I'm sorry, but right. it doesn't mean I have to agree with everything that you did. I hate the anti-ambulance propaganda that we <laughs> sure. push. Sure, I think it's okay, dangerous. Sure. I think it's irresponsible. Understood. Hey, and that's noted. That's great. And when we have our next salon in February, I, I like can't wait I can't to discuss wait. this with you and really dive in. I, February twelfth. Our next salon day. It would be amazing. And and I understand why you weren't there. You had to go to a one-day concert during the middle of a seven-day salon. I understand why you weren't there. Yeah. Okay, next up. <laughs> so my name is Gregory Dinkin. And Dinkin, Dinkin, I come Dinkin, out. Dinkin, 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 Dink
because he chugged too much. And then I show them uh, Red Asphalt, which is a movie that's just photos of people that have died horrifically from drunk driving. Um, that's kind of my arc. But man, Chuffy the S- Snuffy the Chugger really gets them I going. I think it was Snarfy? Snarfy the Chugger. It changes w- depending on like what school districts we're in. Regional dialect. Yeah. yeah. I found yeah. out in- Regional we, dialect. We had to change it because we found out in Detroit, Snarfy meant something we didn't know it right. meant. Remember in Washington when we called him Snuffy? Yeah. Absolute yeah. Oh. Nightmare. nightmare. Lost that audience immediately. Oh, yeah. in Louisiana we called him Snooky. Oh, that, that felt correct. so embarrassing. This that just was changes, correct. but no, it's it's correct because yeah. like Louisiana's Snooky is Wisconsin Snoffy. Like we <laughs> are, we're following the we're following way the, the name changes in the dialect. No, for sure. Uh, so I, I would say come out, New yeah. Jersey's Snoopy is New York's. Hey, get out of here, Snocky. Yeah. So when we went to New York, we went, "Hey, get out of here, Snocky, the chugger." <laughs> <laughs> that was my full name for that performance. It was a wonderful, wonderful um, performance. It's around. just analytics. It's boring stuff. <laughs> People, people don't want to hear this. Genuinely. Like, yeah, this is just. I mean, we might as well just be reading off of our Instagram view yeah. insights tab at this point. <laughs> Zeros and ones. So Stunkies I, and spunkies. I have <laughs> a blast chugging as much as I can and going. I don't think I can drink more and getting the kids all riled up and making me drink more. Really teaching them mm-hmm. a, an important lesson of peer pressure. Don't yeah. drink and drive, and don't peer pressure your friends into drinking and driving. Yes. Our peer pressure dance number, I'd say, is my favorite uh. part of the show because around that time, Peter is finally rested <laughs> after his um, beatboxing, and we all come out. Mm-hmm. I love the peer pressure dance. Yeah, it's a, it's sort of like a, it's. It's the point at which many of the students believe the assembly is over, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and it's not. We're nowhere near that. It's just yeah. simply a dream ballet. It's almost like an act five of ten acts mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. within the thing. It's a brief reprieve to sort of see what goes on inside your mind as you're drunk driving yeah. and but as the, you're experiencing the that. The dancing in itself is a little funny. We have a, little, a, a couple movements that make me laugh out loud if I'm, if I'm. Do you always laugh out loud? It's hard to kind of do certain things we do without laughing out loud. Yeah, I mean, we borrow really heavily from Psy. We do, Psy Gangnam style. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Psy Gangnam style. The ninth Psy graders Gangnam still style. love that dance. They no matter will. which grade. They always will. And I'll tell you a secret. If you ever say John Cena out loud, the kids go apeshit. Yeah. It's one of my yeah. favorite things to do. I'll go, how much can I chug? John Cena! And the kids, they just eat it up. Yeah. I got a question, because now we're, we've got all this you know, room to talk. I am really excited. Like, what? I feel like we all have such fun memories with the kids. Like, what are some of your favorite oh, memories God. that you've had on the road, mm. you know? I have to say my favorite is when opening weekend of Moana came out, and um, the kids kept thinking that they were going to watch Moana during the assembly. And we were like, Because oh, we no. told them we, we, yeah. Yeah. they were. And then I don't know who it was. I think it was you, Miss Budweiser, that was like, make the person who dies Moana. So we switched the show on its head. Mm-hmm. And we just replaced mm-hmm. any of the kids who died with Moana. And we said mm-hmm. she drunk. Peter, death. your off the cuff monologue yeah. about tying your own life into mm-hmm. Moana's death, I thought was a moment that only lives in infamy in my head, you know? And and I and I thank you for that. It was I, I'm glad that it was received well. I, I kind of felt I was flying by the seat of my pants with that one. <laughs> um but I re- I think the beatbox with the Moana ad libs really did um have some uh, effect. Yeah. And yeah. we really don't want to put you on the spot. We couldn't possibly, <laughs> but we want to. But I'll say, th- the Moana parts of it, are, you nail it. You really do. Can you and do it for us? We don't want to put you on the we spot. We really don't want to put you on the spot. We really don't want to put you on the spot. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, nobody wants to hear me do the <laughs> no, Moana. Oh, we do. Oh, we do. We do. If you remember it. if I, I mean, of course I remember it. I, I do watch the tape back every now and again. I, I don't. I, you know, it, it's hard to take pride in my parts of the show, but this I did take pride in. I would be, mm-hmm. I'd be obliged to do it again for oh, you. Oh, thank you so Great. much. All right. <laughs> See you later, Mom. <laughs> hey, I'm walking in. Moana, 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 Moana. I say except you're not welcome. welcome. <laughs> hey, that speedboat's going too fast. There's a light that's dancing. Can't find me. 
No! I'm a big slug. <laughs> My yeah. God, Peter! I love that. Yeah, that was awesome. That was Peter. Great. And I was just make. And the day I was just making that up, and mm-hmm. it really right. was. It's fantastic. It's crazy to me that you don't see how beneficial it is to have you in a car seat when you're doing that. Yeah, it is so. I powerful. don't get how you don't get. It that. It is so damn powerful. But see, okay. And I was happy to talk about a fond memory, and you're reminding me of the bad part. <laughs> Because, what? listen, no, it was great. Moana had just come out. You said, let's make a Moana version, and you'll be in the car seat. And I say, this is the one part <laughs> where I'm not in the car seat. So why, did I, why, because of it's Moana all of a sudden, do I now have to sit in a car seat? And I would be remiss if I said, by the way, this was, remember, we said this was the day Moana came out. We saw 10 a.m. showing of Moana. Our assembly was at 1 p.m. We did not know that you were thinking of it. You had incorporated all of that for the show. An hour after we had finished watching it, I honestly, it was amazeballs. It was amazeballs. It, it was amazeballs except for the blocking, but I agree, it was mm. it was good. The yeah, car- amazeballs except for the blocking, and I, I gotta say, Steve, when you said... I'm Denny, a, Steve is my father. Sorry. And I love him, but I'm not him. <laughs> Denny, when you said, I'm a slug now. Yeah. Do you remember that big slug in the middle of it? Oh, I must have I missed that. Is by Jermaine Clement? No, it's a it's crab. It's more of a crab. I think it's a crab. Yeah. And I will Are say, sure? uh, not a lot bumps for me in our Moana version of our DUI system. No, system. it's almost completely free of bumps. It's, it, uh, but the slug. <laughs> I wonder the slug sure? bumps me. It's, a, it's definitely a crack. And I think there was a kid that yelled out in the assembly, hey, the slug bumps me a little. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And once you bump those kids, you can't get uh, them back. If you well, bump that a kid, a... That if you lose, like it, you're, it's such a thin line. It's That's... tough when you're at an art school and the screenwriting kids sort of unionize against you. <laughs> like They start yelling things like, this doesn't hold up. Yeah, I've lost my suspension Where's of disbelief. Where's the through line? It's completely They're gone. worse than the athletes. They're worse than the mean girls. It's the those screenwriting kids in ninth grade. They're awful. They're so loud now. TikTok made them emboldened, and now they feel like they can say anything. Ugh, it's, it's a hard, hard. job. Speaking of TikTok, you guys can follow our TikTok. We yes. have a really fun mm. social media you presence. You really should. It's we do a lot of memes to that. <laughs> we do a lot of stuff to that song only. And it's a lot of like, oh, look at me. I'm in a car drinking. And then it goes, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Unfortunately, yeah. we do get a lot of like blocks because people find our stuff kind of offensive, you know? Yeah. They do not like drinking culture on TikTok. No, they don't. I mean, it's hard to make a living being anti-drinking culture and trying to just like be popular. You know what I mean? Like it's it's because one of our goals is also to be popular. Right. I, I I think I care about that a lot. I really do. I understand. I also care about being popular. I have a question for everybody. We're talking so much about our show, but we're on the road a lot, right? Like Mm -hmm. we're out together. We're road dogs. Mm -hmm. We're just doing things together. We're going across the... I think we've been to every state in the country except for... Tennessee. Tennessee. They won't let us in. They They won't won't let us in. in. I think they like drinking and driving in Tennessee. Oh, gosh. Don't get political now, Broccoli Head. (laughs) I'm going to get political. Broccoli Head gets political every now and then. You guys know me. When you get on your freaking soapbox. I love it. What are some of our favorite... I mean, we should talk about how we got used to being on the road together, because that took a little bit of getting... I mean, Peter had to get used to our special song. Yeah. Yeah. um... (laughs) You did not understand the special song at all, and we were really confused why you didn't. It's so clear. I mean, listen, I'd love if the... the listeners and the viewers could hear it and see if they understand. No, you I've well, gotta do I it. Don't you, you dare put it so much better <laughs> than it, us. Just you do the song for us and entirely. And I don't want to put you on this spot. And I don't no, want to put you on the spot. Thing I do. And listen, okay, here's the thing. Nobody wants to hear me sing your song that you sing in the car. <laughs> yeah, they all oh, think, think they, they do. do. Let's take a vote on the table. <laughs> Should we sing the song or Peter sing the song? Raise your hand if you want. Um, us to sing the song. Oh, Raise so just okay. Rose's hand. Let the let the record show that one. Let the record show one. Raise your hand if you want Peter to sing the song. I get two votes, one for me and the paper ambulance. And I have a vote. Um, this is for everyone who's died in a drunk driving. <laughs> <laughs> They've also. 
I so forgot I could have used that. I forgot we always <laughs> carry one vote for everyone who's died of a drunk driving accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm using mine. So it's six <laughs> votes to one. Ooh. It's 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 millions of votes to one. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't I don't think I. You know, I, I don't sing it, so I don't know if I know <laughs> the words necessarily. Well, we could jump in if needed. Yeah, we'll help sure. you out if you need. Yeah, I got it. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I got it. I can do it. <laughs> um, so, well, let me ask, in this song, where are we going? Because it depends. It changes the song. Okay. Right? Oh, um, I like it when we're going to Salem. Okay. I love when we're going to Salem. <laughs> so we're going from Florida to Salem. <laughs> We're going <laughs> all the way from South Florida to North Salem and, in Oregon and, and, and Washington. We, we don't have a tour manager. We do have to talk about booking after this because geographically it's not working well. Oh, here we, go. we should we should organize this the tours based on the state, the areas, the surrounding areas. Okay, Salem. So we're going to Salem. Great. Mm -hmm. Salem, Salem, we're going to Salem, 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 we're going to Salem. S, sipping on a nice cold beer. A, everywhere there is some beer. L, licking up a tasty beer. E, everybody loves some beer. M, mm, drinking beer, but we don't drink beer because that is bad. Salem, 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 we're going to Salem. Salem, Salem, we're going to Salem. Up oh. in the car seat, this is where we drive. We hate ambulances and we're five years old, or are we? Think for yourselves. Wake up, sheeple. It's time to stop drinking. Salem, Salem, we're going to Salem. Salem, Salem, we're going to Salem. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Little John! Salem, Salem, we're going to Salem. Salem, Salem, we're going to Salem. Watch the breakdown. Oh, I love that song, and if I if I if I could give notes on it, I would. I do I do get bumped by the end. <laughs> so Peter, I understand why you're bumped by the end. I just don't understand how you could be bumped by any Anything other else. thing we said. I kind of like the end because it's from another song I've heard. <laughs> okay, but you say watch the breakdown, and then the song ends. What are we watching? We're watching the breakdown of a character. I've never brought this up, but I feel like every single input that I give. I feel like it's being fought with ferociously. I feel like every single thing I want to add, it feels like it gets taken down and it feels like, it feels like you guys think I don't know what's up. And I feel like if you gave my ideas a shot, I feel like, I feel like you'd realize they make more sense. Thank you so much for voicing that. that. Thank you so much. This um, reminds me a lot of our seven day salon. So thank you. Thank this was you. most of what I talked this about in the salon. I'm really yeah. sorry you missed it, Peter. I, I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish you were. So I what wish. happens is we get these emails. We get these emails and that's when they book us. And because they are few and far between, we put the dots together at the end of the month, and we go, okay, so we need to be in Salem on the 22nd, mm -hmm. yeah. and we need to be in Fort Lauderdale at the end of the month. So it's really tough because we kind of just all do group emails. The emails come in and just separate to all of our different accounts. So we'll just kind of book based on what the emails get. So all of a sudden, I'm booking someplace, you know, like San Diego, California. And then the next moment we know, Miss Budweiser herself is right. booking something in Maine. And so right. it's, and they're two days apart, and we right. got to get going in the car. Right. And it know? all goes to our travel coordinator, who is one of the original members of our group. His name is Gabe. Gabe. And he's amazing, but to be honest, I don't think he wants to do this anymore. It's and tough when people it's, just, yeah. you know, well, it's start Well, it's because we broke up. up. Yeah, I'll say it. Well, yeah. Gabe and yeah. I used to fuck. <laughs> oh. And he was on the road with us, and he did the bookkeeping, and we broke up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I just want to say, I feel like ever since he, ever since he and I broke up, I feel like people treat me differently, and I feel like all of you are looking at me, and you're looking for my sadness, and I feel like sometimes in the car, you wish I was Gabe. And thank you so thank much you for so voicing much. that. I, that yeah. was brave That was you. really that was awesome really to hear you voice thank that. You. And again, she brought that up at the salon, so this is- And so did Gabe. <laughs> 
Yeah, it he said awkward. sort of the same thing. And I will yeah. say, though, it just, just to throw you a little bit of gratitude, it's been a lot easier without Gabe and you, you know, doing what you and Gabe did a lot of the God, time. God, was that good gratitude. Thank you for throwing that at me. My God. I'll throw you gratitude anytime. Thank yeah, you. When you guys used to uh, hook up and fight, then fight, yeah. And then you'd, you'd order us, because Gabe was in charge of everything, he'd order us six separate cars, and we had to have to drive to the place with six cars. It was bad for cost, and it was bad for morale, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it was bad for the environment. Yeah. And so it was- But it luckily was we're not giving speeches about the environment. We're just- no. Oh, thank, thank God. Thank God, because God. we are That's bunch also of rascals. such a buzzkill. Such those. a buzzkill. Um, <laughs> uh, fuck those fuck guys. Um, fuck um, light bulb, light bulb, light yes, bulb. Yes, of course. I have a question. If we weren't talking about drinking and driving, the most important thing to talk about, what would you guys want to give a school assembly about? Ooh. Everyone go around. Everyone go around. Ooh. Well, for me, oh, I don't. Uh. Gosh. <laughs> it's just so tough. I guess what I would want to do is maybe something about mm, heroin. <laughs> Okay. And what's your stance? <laughs> <laughs> mm, heroin? I think that would be good to do something about mm, heroin, maybe? Yeah, because then Snarfy could come out and chug some heroin, and that would be fun. And just really, I'm looking for something big and loud. And I think um, heroin would be good. Got it. <laughs> Got it. You yeah, get hair. this way every time you talk about it. It's like <laughs> your bones yeah. are shaking. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm, for me, heroin is pretty scary, but also could be fun. But you have to do it responsibly, which means not at all. Why are you talking about it like a, a little boy talking about candy? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? You, well, you haven't been this way since day six of the salon. <laughs> Uh-oh, Snuff is chugging a little too much. Now you're just going into dialogue from the show. <laughs> is everything okay? Uh, ooh, for me? Yeah, it's fine over here. <laughs> okay, let's give him a second, because this is whack crazy. What just, just happened? To, like, I think we just have to like turn him off and turn him back on again. <clears throat> Hey guys, what's up, man? Hey, what? Okay, what? what? No, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, what just happened? You touched Pe his back. No, Peter, it's you okay. You your this hand, just and now, he, and now Peter's back. This is weird. <laughs> what? What happened happens. at the salon? Well, that was the I'm... weirdest thing I've ever seen. What are you talking about? I... You, you went fucking crazy for a second. <laughs> you said, "Let's turn them on and turn them back off." <laughs> That's this not is, true. This is your frustration with the car seat. And I that's just feel all like you yeah. have a lot of anger issues because of your past. Yeah. You know, it's you have a lot of anger. You're issues. gonna bring my fucking past into this. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know it, what? That's only because it's so time. powerful. Peter, I would say stop digging, or your shovel's gonna hit bone. Okay. <laughs> okay, Budweiser, your turn. Okay. Peter never can drive. <laughs> what is it my turn for? <laughs> you get to say what you would do at an assembly on if it wasn't. Oh, <laughs> um, birds. In what way? <laughs> uh, oh, but well, Andrew is so anti-birds. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm a hard anti-bird. Um, I have. I have a pro pro outdoor cat anti-bird stance. Um, and I'm trying to get that out there. I put feelers out to schools. I've put out like a little, um, like a press kit. I've sent it out to schools, being like, "Can I come talk about how birds are bad?" And bird scooters or birds. birds? Oh, birds, birds, oh, the yeah. ones that are animals. Um. But yeah, I just haven't gotten a lot of traction. I mean, no. this is kind of like my main thing, other than being on the board of directors at Budweiser. Um, so it's it's like I really just have <laughs> this one thing. Thank you so much thing. for making time for us sometimes yeah, too. That's yeah. so oh, of so course. much time. So for much. Time. You're always on the road with us. It's and it's tough because it's like I have to fit you guys in with my lobbying sessions with Congress, where mm -hmm. I am, of course, lobbying. Oh my gosh, those Zoom calls you do in the car are yeah. so silly sometimes. Yeah. I, I'm and so I, glad my daddy made you that special device that allows you to get internet anywhere. So you can lobby for alcohol. Yeah, because yeah, I in lobby, the car. but I do it sarcastically. Like, I'm I'm saying, hey, you should loosen up this this drinking law. Yes. And then I go to you so guys and sarcastic. I go, oh, can you even believe yes, this? It's like when then, Jesus hung out with the poor. It's exactly like <laughs> that. Because the whole time Jesus was with the poor, he was rolling his eyes. I always think it's like, oh my God. 
<laughs> it's so wacky that like you with your last name Budweiser lobby for alcohol because it's like like the people you're talking to would be like, why would they believe you? You know what I mean? You're clearly like one side. Yeah, but I don't understand. Are you saying you're making a judgment about me based on my last name? I don't judge. I just feel as cool. though sometimes you guys feel that because of my last name, I'm not an impartial force in this fight. I think that sometimes you think that my message is confusing and you guys don't know where I stand. Well, I know perfectly well where I stand. And thank you so much for sharing that. Thank, thank you, you so much. It's so Jessica wonderful Bud to hear Weiser. your thoughts. Thank you for and sharing that. And this is an open forum and such a wonderful place to share that. So mm. thank you for that. And, and thank you. I think I would probably do an assembly for tired driving. Mm. Mm. That's it's so really dangerous. It's really dangerous. And, and you're always tired when you drive too. Yes. Even when I drive the fake ambulance, I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I gotta be careful with that too, because mm -hmm. it's sharp. That's mm -hmm. my answer. Some people say tired driving is as bad as drunk driving. And that's us. And we say that. We say that. <laughs> yeah. There's just a little section in our show where we go, drunk driving and also tired driving, guys, watch out. It's just as dangerous. There's as a moment driving. where we go really hard on insomniacs. Mm -hmm. We just lay into those lazy fuckers. Yeah. Because they are. They're lazy fuckers. They're lazy yeah. fuckers, and I'm not afraid to say it. Mm -hmm. Peter, what would you do your assembly on? I, I would just love to beatbox. That's always what I ask. Aww. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Aww. I just, I really. I wish you were at the salon to bring that up. Because we could have like implemented I, that. I more. do still feel like we give you a lot. <laughs> you give me a lot. Of... I feel like you do a lot of beatboxing already. I know. I I, and I agree, and I appreciate yeah. it. But if I could do something else, I'd like to, you know, maybe get out of the car seat and lose some of the drunk driving parts of it. It's a part of my past that I kind of. It's tough to relive yeah. so many times in a row. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the opportunity to tell my story, but yeah. it's 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 harrowing. I just what? think the beatboxing makes no sense yeah, without the just car doesn't. seat. It <laughs> just does, it's like it, without the car seat, like what does it actually mean? And I think Why? kids' brains, you have to be careful. So you gotta go one step at a time. <laughs> and I think hearing like beatboxing coming from a mouth with no buckle up mm -hmm. padded seat, I think your brain goes. I'm distracted. I don't understand. Let me go on TikTok. So, mm -hmm. but Peter, also, I I do feel like Peter, we put you in a uncomfortable spot because you're the only one who's ever drank out of this group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The rest yeah. of us. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Can I ask you something, Peter? What does it feel like to drink? What does it feel like to drink? And I feel like yeah. we've never really asked you this because we never like want to entertain the possibility in front of anybody, mm -hmm. but it's just us. So. I mean. Um, I feel like I've never gotten this attention before. Um, maybe it's because I wasn't at the salon, but um, it's great. <laughs> it's it's Matt, all your cares just kind of melt away. Every tension you have, every you know, just just a simple drink can can ease away a, a pain that you have. And um, there's a lot of pain in this world, and um, you can try to fight it, but sometimes you just need to tuck it away for a second. I want to say no thank you for sharing that. <laughs> Sounds like you have a problem. Doesn't help us. You were restarted. What are you talking about? You, you were a different person I five don't minutes know ago. What you're talking about. Can I tell you guys what I would do my assembly <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, share. Yeah, yeah, great. How <laughs> men always need to pay for women on dates. <laughs> <laughs> Chivalry is dead. Women deserve a real man. Who pays for everything on a date? Oh, you're pro this. You're I'm not. Pro. It's not an assembly it railing like against the other. It sounded like you were mad at it. No, okay. I want it. I want it. Right. You okay. want the man to pay. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> men. <laughs> uh oh, here he gets political again. I don't want to get Broccoli political. Head getting all political. But women yeah. deserve a real man who's willing to pay for things. <laughs> wow. It's hard to argue. I mean, it's it, there's a lot to say, but I, I've I've gone toe to toe with you on this before. Oh, um, your guys's fights in the backseat. It's tough to watch sometimes. It's just crazy. You don't even hear yourself. Oh, w women should pay for themselves. Okay, that's not what I believe. <laughs> what bothers me too is that you have no problem with. Um, it's mostly about other people. 
Mm. Like when you're at restaurants, that one time we were at that Buca de Peppo and you leaned over and you said, y she ain't paying, sucker. <laughs> as soon as we walked in, as soon as I walked in, I said, she better be eating this on you, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. It's just important to me because I think women deserve the world. I think women are amazing and I think they're beautiful and I think that they don't need to be bothered with paying. And thank you. Thank you so <laughs> much for that. Do you guys thank like so that I said that? Thank you so that. much yeah. for that. I honestly think it's great that you're standing up for us. Um, totally. And you're always so fair, since you're the person who handles the finances and the payouts at the end, you are always so fair with it, and I have no idea what everyone else is making, but mm -hmm. I trust you. I really so trust you. So much. It's not yeah. fair. What? What? It's not fair the way he pays everybody. I don't even know. What, what, are, you what are you talking about? about? He takes out a meal cost. <laughs> he be, because. <laughs> uh oh, he's making silly sounds. Broccoli, <laughs> broccoli <laughs> head, don't do the uh, lawnmower while he's talking. <laughs> Bro no, no. Broccoli head pays you less because it's the meal tax. He said, <laughs> "We'll make it back in meat. <laughs> we'll make it back in <laughs> meals." <laughs> Wait, broccoli head, but I only eat like four bites a night. Yeah, I just have my bolts. <laughs> broccoli head, turn off the lawnmower. Broccoli head, turn off the lawnmower. <laughs> what am I being accused of? I take money out of meals? <laughs> <laughs> this has been Artist on Artist on Artist on Artist. Answer the question now. That's why they call it Hollywood. A good night. Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists is an improvised Hollywood roundtable podcast created, performed, and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Culhane, Angela Giarratana, and Patrick McDonald. AOAOAOA is a Sugar 23 podcast. Mike Mayer and Michael Sugar, executive producers. Liam Billingham, producer. Production support by Angelo Rostano and Anthony DeFrancesco. Music is by Gabriel Ponton. Edited by Connor McCabe. The opinions expressed on this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AOAOAOA are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. Good night, Hollywood!